Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Ann Emanuel with Big Fox News. An Elmira man is dead after being hit by a train last night. 20-year-old Malachi Norwood was walking on the track in Horseheads next to State Route 14 South when he was hit. Deputies say he was wearing earphones and he might not have heard the train coming. He was pronounced dead at the scene. A Corning man faces multiple charges after an incident Saturday afternoon. Corning police say 26-year-old Cameron Ware was fighting with a woman when they say he pushed, punched, poured water over her head, knocked her to the ground, choked her, and threatened her with a knife. The woman was able to lock herself in a room and call police. She wasn't seriously hurt. Ware remains in Steuben County Jail and has a court appearance tomorrow. A bath man faces DWI possession and possession charges after crashing his car into a ditch. It happened Friday night on Harrisburg Hollow Road around 9 p.m. They found the driver, 49-year-old William Schaefer. Did I say it happened Friday? It sure did. This is the driver, 49-year-old William Schaefer. They said he was close by. They administered field sobriety tests. Troopers say his vehicle was unregistered, uninsured, and had stolen registration plates. They also found marijuana and oxycodone inside the vehicle. Schaefer is being held in the Steuben County Jail. The Red Cross comes to the rescue after flooding last week. Some homeowners suffered flooding after our heavy rain fell in our area. The northern tier especially hard hit. The Red Cross says it helped 41 people in Bradford County and four people in Clinton County. We talked to the regional CEO of Red Cross Central Pennsylvania. And we may provide everything from um, cleanup kits to financial services. In, in greater disasters, we provide mental health services. So it's a whole, whole spectrum of services. So if you um, have been impacted and you haven't been served by the Red Cross and you feel that you may be able to have services or qualify for services, please reach out to your local Red Cross office and someone will be out there shortly. And as you may know, Red Cross disaster assistance is provided free of charge. It's made possible by donations of time and money from people. Visit redcross.org or you can call 800 Red Cross to donate or learn about ways that you can volunteer. Well, we ended the month of July with some pretty nice weather. Meteorologist Kim Walker will look at what the first week of August will bring next in your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Good evening, everyone. We did have a few showers early in the afternoon, but by tonight, though, most of those showers will be ending. We are going to see fog develop uh, for your morning commute, and then in the afternoon, a few spotty showers could be possible. On Wednesday, expect partly sunny skies. There could be a few isolated storms, but then another storm system will be headed our way, and that will give us chances of more widespread rain come Thursday and Friday. For today, though, we did climb up to around 85 degrees in Elmira, so overall, it was nice. Not too bad. 82 in Ithaca, 80 in Binghamton, in Watkins Glen, it was 85 degrees, and in Corning, it was 84 degrees. So temperatures just a little bit above normal as we end uh, the month of July. And here's what we are expecting for tomorrow. South winds will usher in much warmer air and the humidity as well. We do have chances of maybe just a few spotty showers across our area as a little wave makes its way across the region. But then on Thursday and Friday, a cold front will be on the move on Thursday. Day. It will bring the chances of rain just well to our west in the Great Lakes. But then on Friday, there could be a lot more thunderstorms headed our way. Some heavy rain could be possible as we end the work week with a low pressure system that is making its way across the country. But tonight we dip down to around 61 degrees, partly cloudy skies. There will be some areas of fog tomorrow. Uh, I think partly sunny skies and then a thunderstorm or two in the afternoon. Highs will be around 83 degrees, so slightly cooler than what we experienced 
experience today. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures in the mid 80s for the middle part of the week, but then scattered showers and thunderstorms possible for your Thursday and Friday. Temperatures again remaining uh, mainly in the mid 80s or so. But then once that cold front comes through over the weekend, we are going to drop down into the 70s. We're looking for highs only around 73 degrees for your Saturday, so it may feel a little bit chilly out there. Our chances of rain will continue into the early part of the next, uh, next week and uh, highs will once again be in the 70s. So after this week, it looks like temperatures a little bit cooler, feeling a little bit more fall like as we enter the month of August. But uh, yeah, tomorrow highs will be in the 80s. Not too bad, but there is that chance for, of an afternoon thunderstorm or two. Yeah, I'm seeing like rain icons all week long. Yes. OK, pretty much. Always that chance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Hey, a sanctuary in New Jersey giving disabled goats a second chance. This is awesome. The Goats of Anarchy Sanctuary gives these goats prosthetic legs and even these little carts you're seeing here so they can move around. And the sanctuary is an online hit. Its Instagram page has more than half a million followers who watch the videos of goats playing <gasps> and running around. The sanctuary has been known to hold goat yoga sessions where people stretch out, uh, join the ever curious barnyard friends. That is wonderful. I love every piece of it. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hope you have a great one.